What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, today, I'm going to take just a tiny bit of a break from showcasing off Battlefield 1 gameplay over my 2042 commentaries. And we are going to go ahead and check out some more World War III gameplay. Now, there hasn't been too much information and news surrounding this game recently, so I don't want this gameplay to just sit here for ages, you know? When something happens in World War III, I'll go back, I'll play the game, I'll get more clips. But other than that, I can't really think of any other reason to not use some of this stuff that I have stashed away in my vault. So I'm going to showcase off some more World War III. If you guys haven't checked this game out already, I highly suggest doing so. It's in early access right now, which you do have to pay about 10 to 15 bucks in order to get into, but in my opinion, still to this day... I think that is 110% worth it, especially from what you get with that $10-$15 and what you're going to get in the future as well. But enough with all that, if you guys are curious and want to know more about World War 3, I have a completely separate playlist put aside with nothing but World War 3 content, so you guys can go ahead and check that stuff out. But today, we're going to be talking about Battlefield 2042 because more information has been released over on Twitter and on Reddit. It's pretty much going across the whole internet right now about some potential stuff that was either removed from the game or might be coming in the future of Battlefield 2042. And I'll tell you right now, I am not looking forward to any of this stuff being introduced. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this information is courtesy of Temporal. For anybody who doesn't know him, he is a data miner, mostly posting over on Twitter. But again, his information leaks around all across the internet. Very reliable dude. But again, keep in mind, this is data mined. So it's not 100% positive if it's going to be coming in the future. And it's not 100% positive if it was a feature that might have been removed before the game was released. We have no clue. It's just stuff that's in the files of the game. But, uh, like I said, a little warning before I go ahead and flash this up on the screen. If you don't want to go blind, or if you don't want to get sick, I want to bother looking at any of this information. But if you don't care, then by all means, check it out. Unreleased ammo and sights from the technical playtest. Now, I want to start off with the thermoscopes and the uh, tritium night sights, I believe is what it's called. So basically, yeah, they had planned thermoscopes into this game, which I've heard a lot of controversy about. A lot of people saying that, you know, it just shouldn't be in Battlefield games. And I agree. Battlefield has always been a lot more larger scaled battles. And having thermals is kind of like a cheat code. This isn't Call of Duty where you get a perk like cold-blooded and you're magic off the thermal sites. No, this is Battlefield. Yeah, I could see them maybe introduce it with a specialist or something, maybe having some type of a camouflage, a ghillie suit that might, you know, prevent thermal sites. But at the end of the day, nobody wants that out of a Battlefield game. People don't even want specialists to begin with. So thermals are really hard to balance in a Battlefield game because, like I said, it allows you to see pretty much everything. And on a massive, massive, massive map, it's not like Call of Duty where it's very tiny, little, tight lanes. No, these are massive maps. You can literally pinpoint an enemy across the whole battlefield if you're high enough just by simply using a thermal scope. It's basically the noob way of finding enemies without actually having to try. I mean, I guess a good argument could be... If you want thermal sights in the game, the way to balance it out would just be adding extra, you know, crazy recoil to the guns, which usually is how games balance out a thermal scope compared to any other thing. Like, for example, Modern Warfare 2. You know, you pick up an MW2 ACR, which is notoriously known as one of the craziest weapons because of the lack of recoil. I mean, people argue that Modern Warfare 3's ACR is better, but that's just damage-wise. Uh, the Modern Warfare 2 ACR, virtually no recoil. You don't have to move the mouse or your controller whatsoever. But if you add a thermal scope on that gun, it adds a little bit of kick. To a gun that has virtually nothing, it adds a slight bit of kick. And once again, it's to balance out being able to, you know, just being overpowered, having an ACR, seeing someone across the map on wasteland and just drilling them because you have no, you know, it's ways to balance it out. So that's the best way to do so. But then you think of sniper rifles because snipers are one shot hit weapons. They don't go based off of recoil, so they can have thermal sights and see people. Honestly, it's a really rough situation to work around. I think it's just good that it's not in the game, and hopefully this isn't planned to come into the game later on in its life cycle, because there's already one too many cheesy things in this title. The last thing I need is thermal sites being added into the overall mix of all these newbie, newbie, newbie specialists and also items that people are able to use. But ladies and gentlemen, thermal sites are nothing. They are nothing compared to what I'm about to show you right now. Again, I don't know if this was planned before the game is released, or if this is future content that's coming into the game. But I'm telling you right now, if this is future content coming into the game, I will 110% not return. With all the bullcrap cheese you guys decide to implement into this freaking game with these turrets, these sentry turrets that every single person wants to use now because they're Boris and Angel getting endless amounts of armor. You know, it's already enough bullcrap in this game. This tops it all off. 
Temporal also found smart marker rounds. Embedded technology reports enemy impacts. This data is uploaded to the battle network, notifying allies of hostiles for a limited period. I don't care if this is going to scan people like an advanced UAV where you see their specific movement. If it's like Battlefield 4 where you spot someone and it turns into, you know, a hard triangle that you can track everywhere. Or if it's like Battlefield 5 where you spot someone and it puts a little cursor on the map. Just not a 3D cursor that's moving, just a little cursor, an indication of the general area. I don't care what they are deciding to do with this. But the fact that there is ammunition in this game that will track your enemies on impact might be one of the stupidest, the stupidest things I've ever heard in my whole life. Basically, they're saying, oh, you're too lazy to spot people here. Every bullet that hits an enemy will automatically spot them for you. Spotting has always been a problem, an ongoing problem that the community and also the developers have been trying to resolve over the course of years and years and years. Because, yes, 3D spotting is really cool, like in Battlefield 4 where you spot them and it shows where they're at. But the downside to this is when you are spotted, because, once again, once you're spotted, the whole enemy team knows exactly where you are, exactly where you're looking at. And if the enemy team knows the map enough, if they've been playing the game long enough, they're going to be able to see where you're running, where you're looking, and where you're planning to go. They can literally get you and trap you no matter what. It puts you at a massive disadvantage every single time. And the problem is, is that there's never a stop when it comes to spotting. You know, you have an unlimited amount of tries to spot someone. People literally, and like, like I said, Battlefield 4, Hardline, stuff like that, people would just spam Q or spam whatever the spot button is across the map until they get someone. That's all you have to do. You can spam through a bush, and if someone's back there, it's going to spot them, you know. You spray through a bush and kill them. You see, there's plus sides and there's minus sides to spotting in Battlefield games. And the hardest part is trying to find that in-between. But smart marker rounds is not that in-between. You're basically giving every single player out there on the battlefield a guaranteed win in a gunfight, especially if the enemy player, the person who's opposing that person that's in the gunfight, doesn't have the smart marker rounds. You know, just imagine these rounds to a very experienced player. Someone who can land pretty much all of their shots. It doesn't matter the range, even if they're using an SMG. All it takes is one bullet. I could see someone across the whole map with a K-30 SMG. And as long as I can land one shot on them across the map, they are going to be spotted for the whole team. So if I have 10 teammates over there, and I'm still trying to get over there, I'm taking a long-ass time, you know, it's taking forever. I'm traveling across these wide-open, horrible maps. If I see them and I want to assist my team, boop, just shoot them once, bam, spot it for the whole squad. They know exactly what he's doing, where he's going. Do you know how obnoxious that is? It was already obnoxious enough back in the day, like I said in Battlefield 4, where people would just spam me through a bush. You know, I'm sitting there in perfect cover, and then out of nowhere, I'm getting sprayed down by bullets because one person got a lucky spam on me and found me with a marker. For an individual like me, I don't know how you guys see this, you know, smart marker round, but for a player like me, when I see this, all I think of is a constant advanced UAV. Or for anybody out there who doesn't play COD, you know, 24-7 spotting from Battlefield 4 without actually having to spot. You know, like a, a hot key that automatically spots them when you hover over them. That's basically what this feels like. Because at least, at least once in every gunfight, I'm not saying I'm an amazing player. But with every gunfight that I engage in, I at least land one bullet. At least one. It doesn't matter if it's in their toe, their head, their, it doesn't matter where it's at. I land one. And in this case, all it takes is one for not only you to see where they're at, but your whole team to see where they're at. When I see stuff like this in the files for Battlefield 2042, it just makes more sense on why this game was a massive flop. It truly does, because if this was the direction, like I said, I don't know if this is coming out in the future, I don't know if this was pre-planned, I don't even know if this is, you know, coming at all. This was data mined information, and pretty much anything could be, you know, behind the files that they just threw away and just left it there. It truly doesn't matter. But the fact that they thought of this they designed it. They designed it. It was tested at least once to at least be in the files. This is something that they put together. It just shows me the mindset and the direction the developers wanted to take with 2042. You know, they have completely changed. And you could tell that the developers who are there now have nothing to do with the past experiences that we played in the past. So, again, even though I want to stay hopeful for the next Battlefield game... Stay cautious because these are the things that the developers are trying to implement into our Battlefield games.
But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, in chat with us, do we do so or turn in Discord? Both links down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams of video games and over on Twitch, link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.